hello everyone uh, welcome to black forex traders youtube channel this is harvey so today i'll be showing you how i trade gold or shall we usd whatever you call it so uh, if you look on this chart you can see these are my past trades and this is the trade that i took today uh, i'm just gonna explain how i took this trade uh, giving you reasons also so if you look at this uh, you can see i had my trend line here mm, let me draw okay if you look at this i had this this point here let me try to get something i can draw with okay if you look at this i have this point let me make it green Okay, I have this second point here then this was the third touch remember I always wait for three touches to take the trade so I had this one this was the second touch which I took uh, the reason why I took this trade is because I followed this breakout and retest because this was my low before this one happens so this was my low so I expected them to give me something like a W then they go up so instead they broke this uh this low of mine then they went down to create this new low then they went up so yes they moved up like this <coughs> sorry i said okay once they, since they broke this low of mine which now turned into a resistance line so i'm gonna wait for them to reach this point then i'm gonna sell them again so i i waited for them to come to this point so this uh bearish candlestick gave me a confirmation that they will reverse down so once they did, I got this confirmation candlestick, then this is where I took this trade. Then my take profit was, uh, the target was here using this previous low. Then as you can see, they reached, they reached this channel, this channel, uh, this point around this point is where they reached my previous low. As you can see, then they give me something like a W at this point. Then they started to move up. So as they started to move up, I said, okay, I have this touch and this touch. That's why I draw this uh, trend line here. Then I say once they touch my trend line here, then I'm going to sell again. But I also realized that they give me these touches here, which the third one was going to be this one. I anticipated that they will touch here. But since I had this uh, resistance line, this was also a possibility. So and also I have this touch here and this touch. Then I said, okay, this is my channel. This is my bullish channel here. So I waited for them to break it at this point. Because there was a high possibility that they can test it and then go and challenge this uh, resistance line here. So I waited for them. So something that gave me another confirmation for them to reject at this point uh, was the Fibonacci. So if I was using the Fibonacci, uh, I put it here using the, the last high that I have. And then, uh, okay, let me take the Fibonacci. I used this high and this previous low like this so uh, if you look at this point here you can see you have the 61.8 which is the strongest level on the Fibonacci so I said okay I have a confluence of confirmations here which is the Fibonacci and the trend line here so once they reach this point I'm gonna wait for a confirmation of rejection point so I had this bearish candlestick here which gave me now okay they are going down but i wasn't sure that they gonna break this line or they're gonna respect it and continue going up so that's why i waited for them to break this line here that's why i waited for them to break this point here so once they broke this point then they gave me a retest then they went down that's when i sold again so after they sold uh, i anticipated that they they will give me like something like a w using the previous low at this point so as you can see they broke the previous low and went for the trend line so the trend line i had these two points then this was the third touch this is what i call uh the 3d touch because i have what the three touches so it's more i just call it the 3d the 3d touch so that's why i had like the third touch so this is where I would have bought, but uh, I was busy. That's why 
you don't see any uh, entry tool like this one or this one so as you can see they respected my trend line and my anticipation for them to to give me a buy so for now i'm waiting for something like this and they continue going up so even if uh let me clean this even if i can go back uh, in time and check the previous movements so that i can help you to take to trade uh, gold let me go back sorry let me do something like this Let me wait for it to load a little. Okay, it's loaded. Let me go to daily. So, if you can go to daily, uh, the first thing when I analyze the market, I start from higher time frame. So, on gold, uh, I spotted this channel here, which is the bigger channel, like this. I have the one, two, two touches on the upper trend line, and on the low, I have this one and this one. Uh, this one failed to touch, but it was close one. So this is the bigger channel, uh, which started from uh, 20 August, so the 7 August 2020. So this is where the channel started. That, that's why you see this kind of movement, but they are in a downtrend. So I drew this. This is my bigger uh, trend lines. Then I went to H4 time frame. So if H4 time frame, you can see we have this this point here. I have one, two, and the third touch is this one, which is the new one which happened today. Uh, and on the upper side, I have this one also. So this is something uh you guys you like to call it or the the pennant or something like that so me i just draw my trend lines and trade what the market gives me so if you look at this <coughs> the first one that i had was this i used this point before before this movement happened this one so i had this targets one two three and four so they broke it here on last friday yes and then they retested here this is where i took the sale that i showed you earlier then they went down so once they broke it then i was i was uh, my 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 bias one was a sale that's why i took this sale because it's a breakout and a retest so they broke this uh, bearish pendant here then they went down so now i'm anticipating them to buy but if you look at the bigger picture this was more like a retest uh at this trend line here but they failed to touch it but you can see their their movement was coming to this trend line and then now i'm anticipating them to come at least to this trend line so if they don't respect it they're gonna break it and go up so i usually use these trend lines to mark my touches so these touches are very important because they give me more confidence in order to to take the trades as you can see they respected them so this is the bigger or the bigger movement that I'm expecting on, on gold, which is this one. In order to go and challenge this high, which will give me the third touch. If I can go to daily, remember I have or uh, yeah, I have two touches. So this will be the third touch, which will then they will start to drop again. But for now, we're gonna wait for them and see what they do at this point. But if you look at this, this is very helpful information. That you can use to trade uh, gold because gold is not like any other pairs but uh, usually it goes hand in hand with euro usd but sometimes each one goes the separate way so that's why i say you must put more work when you're analyzing gold because it pays a lot uh, once you apply certain rules here so even if you look at this uh this movement here you know you have three touches which gives you another pattern which is something like this uh, which we have three touches also 
this is remember this is the two minutes time frame so these are this is the analysis for where you're gonna take your entries or for day traders this is where you're gonna take your entries as you can see this is a small pendant or a bearish pendant here as you can see now the market is rejecting i'm anticipating them to come to this point then go up why i'm i'm saying this because i have this this low here this previous low then i'm gonna draw a line like this as you can see this is my first anticipation so if they come to this point i'm gonna wait for them to give me a rejection can you stick then i'm gonna take them up so if they break this line then i'm gonna anticipate them to come to this point then this way i'm gonna speed that they give me another rejection candlestick to go up so as you can see this is how i uh, i i trade gold i draw every possible movement on gold then i wait for the market to give me or to come to my my area so if i can use the fibonacci i'm gonna start with the uh, the, the new low that they created today then i'm gonna use the last rejection uh, which is this one so if you look at this the 61.8 is close to my level which means i have like three sorry two com confirmations or conference le levels which is the, the trend line and the fibonacci which is which gives me around 61.8 level then i'm going to wait for them to give me maybe a w a small w or a rejection kind of stick like this one and rr formation so once I got the I get those confirmations here, this is where I'm gonna buy them until this this is gonna be my first take profit point using this trend line. So if they break it, I'm gonna wait for a retest, wait for confirmation again, then I'm gonna take them up. So this is how you trade gold. You draw your support and resistance, you can draw your supply and demand, then wait for them to come to your level. Don't counter trade them. That's why I don't I didn't take the sell here. Because I want to be in the correct or, or in line with the market. I don't want to go against the market. So this is how I treat gold. I hope this helps you guys. This was a short video on how I, ma I master gold or how I take my interest on gold. So thank you. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so that you don't, uh, don't miss anything that I post in the future. Thank you.